and welcome to my podcast, Empowered to Thrive. I'm your host, Kareen Powell. I'm an intuitive guide, and I absolutely love helping people to heal from within so that they can create a life that they love, a life that they enjoy. We weren't meant to just tolerate and get through life. We were meant to thrive and enjoy the life we're living. Of course, we will have seasons and moments that are difficult and challenging. And the beauty of it is that we can be supported in those moments. I am here to be an aid and a guide to support you. And I hope that you will enjoy not only today's episode, but some of the past episodes if you haven't heard them yet. On this podcast, I talk about all things inner wellness. We also sprinkle in some spirituality and parenting because as a mom to three kids, parenting is a big part of my life. I hope that you enjoy the episode and that there's at least one thing you'll pull from it and start to implement into your own life. If you want to follow me in other ways, you can find me on Instagram, Kareen underscore Change Radically, or on Facebook, Change Radically. Would you do me a favor and share this podcast with your friends if you hear an episode that resonates with you? And would you also go ahead and give me a rating and review my podcast? It would mean so much to me and I would appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy the episode and that we connect. These last couple months have felt very different for me. And I want to explain what I mean about that. Instead of keeping my normal schedule, working a few days a week, keeping a pretty regular pace, I have had to slow down, pull back, and basically flex within every day and within every week. And it didn't make sense to me. It wasn't purposeful, except that it was. What I mean is I didn't see a reason why I needed to do that, but I sensed that I must. It was almost some days as if my body was saying to me, please slow down, please pause, please pull back. Of course, we all have experienced collectively what is going on within the world at large and that is taking a toll on our collective energy. So in part, I'm feeling that, and in part, it's because of my own family's transition in this season. But I didn't even piece all of that together until just recently, weeks after I was just intuitively living, just doing what I needed to do, pulling back on what I didn't need to do, letting certain things fall down, you know, because I didn't have to keep everything afloat. And this is so very different than how I would have previously lived because in the past it would have been, I kept all of the jaw of of the balls in the air and I was juggling them and I couldn't imagine letting any of them fall to the ground. And now I know I have to let some of them fall. It's too much pressure. It's taxing on my body, on my mind, on, on my family, and on the just the energy within me. And so it's looked like coming into the office much less, doing less for the business, expecting that it will expand without my own efforts, but with my cooperation, and also recognizing that The season my family is in is sacred. We have been homeschooling our kids all along. And my oldest daughter is nine. She's entering fourth grade. And this is the first year she's going to be going to school. It's a really big transition. My second born is going into third grade and my youngest into first. And I, of course, was working my business, but I had a home office. So I would basically step next door to a separate space and I would work there for a few hours and then I would come back. Sometimes I would pop in to my side of the house for lunch or for dinner. I was still very close by to my kids, very involved with the everyday. 
Now in June, I moved my office to a new location, which meant I had to leave my house and be gone for the day. So it was a gentle transition. This was all before we knew our final decision of sending our kids to school. And so I was now commuting to an office versus stepping next door. And I would leave and be gone for, say, eight hours at a time. My kids were used to already being put to bed by my husband because I would have sessions and see clients in the evening sometimes. So that wasn't a different, that wasn't a difference for our family. But me not being at home for eight to 10 hours was different. And so we had that gentle transition period where I was going into the office a few days a week and working for many hours. Now we decided our kids were going to be going into school and that would mean we're going to be away from each other much more. So I look back and I say, wow, the gentleness in the transition is really beautiful. I couldn't have made that happen. Or I could have, but I didn't make that happen. This was not my own logical doing. This was the intuitive way I live. Tapping into the source of love and navigating my life in that way. Sometimes it's just a gentle push or a pull. And it means I have to move with that flow in choosing to relocate my office. It was very much a quick decision, but it felt to my spirit, to my gut, like the perfect decision. Moving our kids from the homeschool realm to a small private school classroom also was a quick decision, but a long time in the making. We have sat and contemplated that for years. And it was finally the right time. And we found a school that we are very comfortable with that just may not look like a typical classroom because they keep their classes really small. They're able to give the kids a lot of attention. They're able to bring in elements to the day that we were also in our home. I am a big proponent of play being incorporated into the everyday in the expression of creativity being encouraged, and all of this will be happening in the classroom that they're going to be in. And so it has felt like quick things happening, but perfect timing and exactly where we've needed to go. The direction has been so clear to me. And so Pulling back from my normal schedule this summer, as much as I didn't plan that either, felt like what I needed to do. It felt simply perfect, not comfortable, not always easy. Sometimes I felt like, what's going on? Why does my body feel like it can't do as much as it once was? Why is my business feeling like it's coming to this halt? But in places I couldn't see, the expansion was happening. And I've been able to see the byproducts of that in some ways. And in some ways, it's still unclear to me. But what I go back to is that intuitively and to my gut, My spirit has felt like this is exactly what I need to do. So I encourage you through sharing all of this, I want to encourage you that your decisions will not always make sense to you or to the people around you. But if it doesn't make logical sense, that can be perfectly fine sometimes. In fact, if we only depend on our logic, remember that's going to be pulling on our form beliefs, the way we perceive life, 
And all of that is based off of our experiences. So sometimes it's necessary to override logic and to tap into the heart, the intuition, the spirit side of things. What is your body speaking to you? What is your, what are you feeling in your gut? And following that is going to guide you in a way that is super important. And I don't know what season you're entering. I don't know where you're at right now, but I want to affirm that if things don't make sense to you right now, but you're following, you're following and you're doing what you really feel like you should, even though you don't fully know why, you are flowing in this place of confidence and peace and you just know that you know that you know that you need to do what you're doing. I want to be one voice to encourage you to keep doing it. I know it's not easy. I know it's not comfortable. I know that people do not always understand it. They don't get it. They may even have, there may be resistance from other people or from the energy around you. But from one person living intuitively to another, I really feel like it is a prime way to live. And the longer I live, the more comfortable I am living in this way because it's not the way that I was taught when I grew up. You depended on logic. You depended on your know-how, on your smarts. You needed to figure things out. So me encouraging myself and others to live following intuition, to live based off of what your body and your gut is intuitively speaking to you and to allow yourself to be pulled and pushed by the energy, not necessarily the feelings around you, but your feelings are indicators. They're indicators of what's going on, and they're, they're very worth listening to. But I'm not really suggesting, or I'm not meaning to suggest just living by your feelings. There's something larger at play here. And that's why when I say to you that I've just learned, I've literally practiced, I've practiced in the everyday tapping into this source of unconditional love and listening in and learning what that feels like. And sometimes it, it looks like, oh, the wind is just blowing her or she's being pushed or pulled by her feelings. But truly, it's larger than that. It's more than that. And if you are in a place where you're unsure of the direction you should go, I want to offer my intuitive guidance to you. Together we can sit, you can share with me what's going on, what you're coming up against. And what I can guarantee is there will be clarity that comes to you through that session. In that hour, we will help, I will help you together. We're going to get you to a place where you feel more comfortable, you feel more at ease, you actually have clarity and direction and you know, hey, you know what? I don't have all the answers, but I know the next step. And you might have m much more than the next step, but you're going to gain clarity. You're going to feel much lighter and you're going to know, ah, this is what I need to do next. And that's all that really matters, just knowing what you need to do next. It's scary to not have everything laid out sometimes. The unpredictable can create fear and anxiety, but that doesn't mean it's not okay to live not knowing. We can actually even become comfortable in that place. So as I wrap up, I just want you to know that I am here for you. And if you are in a season where you just feel like, you know what, it's, it's a harder season, it's, you know, less clear and you're trying to get up every day and you're trying to do what you need to do, but it's not always easy. My heart feels for you and I understand because I've been walking through that myself. And I also want to encourage you that there is the clearing ahead. It's not always going to feel like you're in the forest in the middle of the night. There is a clearing ahead. The sky is bright. Things are open and clear. And you're going to be able to get to that place if you want to, if you want to link arms with me, 
or with someone else who's going to help you get to that place where you can dance freely, where you can be carefree, where you can be living life but feeling comfortable in your body and comfortable with your thoughts and overall enjoying life. That is my goal for you. That's my goal for myself. And it's not a formula. But when we connect and we talk, my end goal is for you to get to a place where you just get to enjoy the life you're living and feel comfortable in your body. Not feeling like the intrusive thoughts are negatively affecting you all the time. No, it doesn't have to be that way. I know what that that is. And it's such a horrible way to have to live. And it is the typical existence for many, but it doesn't have to be that way anymore for you. So reach out if I can be of help. And you can always email me, kareen at changeradically.com or find me on Facebook or Instagram. Until next week, take care. We've come to the end. What did you think about what you heard? I hope that there's something you pull from today's episode and start implementing it into your life. Create the change that you want to see, the change that you hear about. You have the opportunity to transform your life, and I'm ready to link arms with you and to help and guide you to the life that you want to live. If you resonated with what you heard today and it touched you, would you share it with your friends? Would you also go ahead and rate my podcast and write a written review? It would mean so much to me. I hope that we'll connect, whether it's for a session or just to connect because I enjoy meeting new people. You can find me on Instagram, Kareen underscore Change Radically, or on Facebook, Change Radically. You can also always email me, Kareen at changeradically.com. If you have thoughts, questions, or anything that you just want to talk about, send me an email. I hope that you have a wonderful week, but no matter what your week is like, in the moments that are quiet, maybe it's when you pillow your head at night, or when you're driving in the car or taking a walk, or maybe it's going to be in the midst of the chaos with your children or or the craziness of work. I hope that you'll remember how significant you are, that there is meaning and value to your life, and that I, for one, am so glad that you're alive. Catch you again next week.